Yeah, man, talk about this fight. Uh, I didn't work out one day at all. Um, wow. According to people, I just watch TV, movies, Netflix, and chill a lot. Um, other than that, you know, I just. Uh, Crossing our fingers, right? Put your That's tail what you guys say. Put your tail wet. No, I'll do reality though. Um, <laughs> put a total of 14 weeks into work, and there was nothing, nothing easy about that work. And uh, come the 30th, I'll prove once again why I defeated Berto the first time. Vic, um, what what goes on to the one that that comes up short this night? Uh, Doesn't Saturday. matter. I'm not looking at that. As we head into this Sorry. fight, would you say your level of anticipation is the same like it was for the first, greater, less? You know, I know what I'm here to do April 30th. Thanks to the media writing me off time and time again, they just did me a nice favor. They gave me that fire back. That fire that you guys claim that I don't have. That, that fire that's supposed to be in the acting world and acting world only. I will be a great. Because it seems like that criticism used to bother you in the past and not so much anymore. Why, why is that? Because right, a bunch of people are just full of shit, man. They don't know what, what I go through on a daily. They don't know how I wake up, how I wake up feeling, what I'm going to do, what I'm not going to do. You know what? When my hands are broken, when my jaw's shattered, when I'm wired shut, when I'm in casts for months and months at a time, the only people that I have on my side are my younger brother, my coach Haas, coach David, and close friends to me. You know what I get from the media? A nice middle finger. So you know what I gotta say to that? Pay attention. That's it. Is, is this more personal for you in terms of not only just Andre Berto, but like, I mean, just the way you're talking nah, to the media no in way. general? No, no way. Look, I don't, I don't take nothing personal. I don't take nothing personal. I just know this much. I have my opinion, as you guys all have yours. And uh, I'm gonna keep it that way. And I'm gonna definitely be back on top in no time. Thank and I will. Sorry about that point. I'm just saying, I'm, I will. You guys say shock. I don't say shock. I know where I belong. Hey, I've broken a couple times, man. My my wrist broke, both of them. <laughs> the home was a right hook, that was a straight left. It ain't my fault. Then I got written off. Oh, he retired. He went into focus on uh, filming movies. Yeah, I did focus on focusing on, on making movies. I had to. What am I supposed to do? Sit there and feel sorry for myself? Nah, I took on another career. And you know what? I was a bang in it. Bottom line, though, I don't see myself as an actor just yet. Not a full, not a full-time actor just yet. I'll get there. A former teammate of yours, Brandon Rio, said that he would like to see Berto and break your jaw again. What do you take to those uh, comments of his? Well, Brandon's got to say a lot about me because he knows who Daddy is. <laughs> so, what are you looking for next after Berto? Who are you looking for next? Uh, this, I'm focusing on Berto. That's uh, in less than a week, so. That's, that's my target, that's my focus. You think he's gonna come in hungry? You Doesn't matter. You, you, you mentioned that you led to his, his down point. Yeah. He was gonna get a lucrative fight with Mayweather until you gave up his first L. It doesn't matter, man. Like, hey, he's, he's, he's done what he's done. You gotta respect that. But ultimately, I'm here. And I ain't going anywhere. Do you think that the media's tone has changed it towards you? Because in the lead up to this fight, you still feel like right. the media as a whole are still writing you off? No, 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 absolutely. The media always writes me off, you know? And it's actually even more beautiful and more perfect for me because this whole training camp, the whole training camp, I'm talking 13, 14 weeks worth of training camp, not a fly stopped by my gym. Eh, there was two reporters that stopped by my gym, which, thank you, the reporters just stopped by. That's none of you guys. <laughs> But I guarantee you, once I'm crowned again, they'll be like, yo, can we talk again? I'm gonna be like, I'm kinda busy, I'm shooting a movie. Sorry guys, gotta go. <laughs> well, we had a good time with you on our podcast. Oh, that was awesome, yeah, it was. <laughs> you guys you guys didn't make an interview though, you guys made it fun, you know? 